Hello and welcome to Unix services training for Samba server or CIFS file sharing protocol. CIFS is called as common internet file sharing protocol which is used to used by Microsoft to share files across Windows to Linux, Linux to Windows machines where we use Samba which is a file sharing suit. So let us start configuring the CIFS in this training. First we have two machines. One is a Windows machine and another one is a Linux machine. So let's let's see what should we configure on a Windows machine. On a Windows machine, first we need to enable remote support. So first click on start, right click on my computer, go to properties. And on remote settings, check the allow remote assistance connection to this computer and switch on the radio button which says allow connections from computers running any version of remote desktop then click on OK. The next option is we need to create a folder to make sure we share this folder for our Linux machine. So presently I have created a folder by name WinShare. So once a folder is created then we need to right click on the folder, go to properties and click on sharing, click on advanced sharing and click on permissions and then we need to have full control change and read should be on the allow status now click on ok ok and close so these are the things which we have to do on a windows machine to enable sharing for CIFS our next task is what should we go ahead and do on a Linux machine that is our uh, Windows machine. So here we have a command SMB client is the command which we will use. But before we just go ahead and uh, use SMB client we need to make sure we have SMB client package or SMB client command. So SMB client command is related to Samba client package. So we'll make sure we have the package installed by using rpm dash QA pipe to grep Samba client. And we have Samba client which is installed. At the same time we need to also make sure we high we have CIFS utils which is also installed okay so we have both the packages which is all installed if you do not have it installed you can use yum install samba dash client command to install so we already have it installed so that's the reason we do not require to install this package our next task is to go ahead and <coughs> use the smb client command so let's use the smb client command
so here we are going ahead and using SMB client dash u is the user so I have a user by name Krishna on my Windows machine and I'll use dash uppercase L to list and then I'll go ahead and give the IP address of my Windows machine that's 192.168.0.107 it asks for the password for the administrator Krishna and it produces the information so we see that we have Windows 7 as the operating system and we have WinShare which is the disk which we are sharing from the Windows machine to Linux machine our next task is to go ahead and log into the Windows machine so we will use SMB client command Okay, we'll say SMB client dash uppercase U is the user, the username, and the IP address of our Windows machine, and the folder name what we created in Windows machine for sharing. So now it asks for the password and now we see we have an SMB prompt. Now if I type ls I can see what are the files which are there inside that folder which is available for me to access those files. So I can use ls to list all the files which is there on the Windows machine. I can use get to get the file from the Windows machine to Linux machine. So I am using get command. And let's use the cifs.txt file and we were able to copy the file onto our local machine so let us see by using exclamation ls whether it is copied or not yes it is copied you can see the file here so let's try to put a file from here to the remote machine so we'll just say put install dot log dot syslog file and now we were a successfully able to dump the file onto that folder so if I say ls I should be in a position to list it yes here we go so we have the timestamp which is also defined here to confirm it once again we can just go back to our windows machine have a look at here as well so we can see the file which is present here so this is one method how you can use SMB server messaging blocks or Samba for file transfer another method is we can also mount the same so how do we use mount command so let's quit out of this and we can use mount command
so I have mount dash T CIFS is the protocol which we are using dash O user is equal to Krishna and the IP address of my Windows machine and the folder to which I have I wanted to share and MNT is where I want to mount it on my local Linux machine so let's go ahead and mount it so now it's asking the password so I type the password now if I type df dash h I can see it has been mounted from my Windows machine to our Linux machine so to confirm I can say cd mnt type ls and I can see all the files which is listing here so I can see all the files which is list listing here <coughs> I can try creating one more file as well so I can say sequence of 100 redirected to txt so I can say ls so we can see the file which has been created as well so that makes simple to access windows to linux linux to windows file sharing so we can unmount it and we can do it on the graphical method as well so we'll just come out of this directory and we'll unmount it and we can perform the same task with the help of GUI so we can say Windows share server IP address is 107 username is Krishna the folder name is winshare and say connect we provide the password and here we go so it's connected so you can see it as a GUI icon which connects and you can share the files so this is how you can utilize or share files throughout Windows to Linux and Linux to Windows thank you for viewing and have a great day ahead